Hello and welcome back to this walkthrough of the KSP 1.0 career. My name's Negative Bruce, and today we're going to uh, to Minmus. Now, uh, you'll notice that I've got my little uh, Moonlander on the screen. This is the exact same craft that I used in the episode to land on the moon. There's nothing special about it. Okay, it's just got some solar panels, some uh, some batteries, a little LV909 that's tucked up inside a, a T200 fuel tank, and then some little lander legs. So let's uh, let's go. Let's see if we can do this now. Minmus. So the first thing we want to do is we want to. Well, we've been to the moon. Okay, so the moon is there. Minmus is there. It's another 30 million, uh, 30 and a half million um, meters away from the moon. So it's a fair bit further, but Minmus I actually prefer as a starting point. So is the moon, so the moon is very, very easy to get to. You'll notice that it's on an equatorial orbit. Now I've just launched into straight into an equatorial orbit, and I'm gonna show you how to nail a transfer with Minmus without any major fooling around, okay? Now the thing about Minmus, all right, if I get down here, so that the, you know, see how the moon's orbit is now flat, okay? From up here, I'm not looking straight at it. When it's flat, you can see that that's when I'm at zero degrees, okay? You'll notice that Minmus's orbit, on the other hand, is inclined somewhat, okay? And it is actually inclined by roughly seven degrees, six and a half, seven degrees, something like that. So there are parts where if you're flat, okay, and you're in an orbit, if you, try and get an intercept okay you come flying out here you're not actually going to because where you're going to end up is you're going to fly underneath the orbit or, you, or if on this side you're going to fly above it so the thing that i see a lot of rookie players trying to do is they launch into an orbit and then they go okay well here's the an or the dn and they'll get a maneuver and then they'll uh, go okay well I'll, uh, I'll try and null this out okay oh there it is now here's the thing right that's going to cost you 270 delta V, um, and you don't need to do it. There's an easier way of getting uh, encounters with Minmus. Now, this is a foolproof way of doing it. You can do a plane change at the AN or the DN, null out your plane, and then all you do is you add a maneuver and do a transfer like you would to the moon. So if I go like this... Okay. So you can see that I'm going to get one there, but that's only after I get the plane change. Okay, so I've got to do a plane change first. I want to avoid a plane change. I don't want to do a plane change. Plane changes um, suck. They're a waste of fuel. So here's the other thing about the A and the DN. The AN and the DN are the point at which your orbit, okay, crosses the orbit of Minmus. That's where the two cross. Okay, so the DN is where the um, minimus starts ascending or going up and the ascending node is where it starts going down basically what we want to do right is we want to try and get a transfer that meets at the an or the dn that way we need no plane change okay because the minimus needs to be it has to go through that point and well we have to go through that point too so if we can get out here Okay, Ooh. there we go. So, what do we got? Well, you can see that my close approach, right, is going to be a bit behind it. So I'm glad I've, it's done this. So what's going to happen is Minmus is actually going to go past us, all right? So here is where some patience is required. And you can always do the plane change and then do a maneuver and, and meet it like you would the moon. But what I'll do is I'm going to go this way. Okay, come over this side. Get in a little bit closer, so I can get that my apoapsis on the descending node. Right there, that's a little bit far, and that's spot on. Okay, so you can see that Minmus is over here. What I want to do, okay, is I want to add another maneuver node. Okay, add maneuver, and what I'm going to do, okay, is I am just going to wait an orbit. Oh, look at that. Wait, I don't want to do it that way. I want to wait an orbit with this one. I was doing that wrong. 
Uh, because what's going to happen, right, is we're going to wait in orbit, and you can see that Mimis is going to move every time. And see how it's moving around the orbit? So basically, we're just putting off that burn. The moon will get in the way on occasion. Okay, if we just keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Whoop, there it goes. Just need to come in here, grab it again. Oh, no, 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 time warp, no time warp, no time warp. Please don't do that. And basically, all we need to do is just move. Mm -hmm. Go away, Kim and I. I really need to land that craft. Okay, and you will have to wait a bit of time. That's okay. Patience is a good thing. Especially with regards to orbital maneuvers. Patience often pays off. This is being a pain in the butt, though. Okay, so there's the orbit. Let's keep moving along. There's the moon again. And that will happen. Like you, The moon will keep orbiting the Kerbin, and you will get intercepts with it on occasion. Okay, so it's going to take, well, I think it's about 15 days or something crazy for the Minimus to get back around or we'll do half a half an orbit. I think it circles Kerbin every 30 days or thereabouts. There's the moon again. So you can see how it's moving. Here it is. It's moving along the orbit. Oh, there it was. Alrighty. So now we're getting real close. What we might actually do is just wait another orbit. There we go. Periapsis, I'm happy with that. So in 17 days, we're going to make a burn of 200, oh, sorry, 926. That's the easiest way of getting an intercept. Uh, it doesn't involve a plane change. You can just shoot straight out there. You just need to wait the appropriate time. So we're on the maneuver node. Okay, we'll add one here for one minute before. Okay, we'll close you. And basically what we'll do is we'll skip back to the space center to do the warp. Because otherwise we're going to be stuck at like 50 times time warp and that's going to take forever to warp that far. So let's jump in here. Of course, if you prefer to do a plane change, um, you're just going to be wasting um, you know, 300 delta V. That's up to you. I don't mind. You can do it any way you please. Uh, I just prefer doing a direct transfer without any plane changes. Now, that actual transfer there, that holds true for um, for transferring to things that are on an inclined orbit uh, further away from Kerbin as well. So, for example, Hilu. You don't have to do a plane change if you can hit it at the point at which uh, Elu's orbit crosses your own. So there's an AN and a DN for everything. So for example, Jewel is a little bit cockeyed, I think. No, it isn't. Uh, where is it? Drez. No, there it is. So you can see that Drez is a little bit cockeyed as well. So you can get this correct so that if you can transfer right, you can just come shooting straight out and pick up these planets as they cross your own orbit. Saving that plane change is very, very worthwhile the further you go. So we'll jump to the ship now because we're a minute away from the burn. We're going to go out to uh, to Mimbus and I'm going to show you probably the way to um, to do uh, the Minmus and also the Moon missions. I broke up the Moon mission because I figured that there was plenty for me to cover in that uh, in that time. You can go away. So we've got 30 seconds. Actually, I reckon it's time to burn. No, not quite. We'll wait a few more. Now it's time. Okie dokie. So basically all we need to do is just go prograde. Because we know Minmus is going to be in the right spot. It's going to be all the way here by the time we get out there. And it takes about seven days to get out here. But it's going to take us nine. Well, there you go. Nine days. Uh, if you're playing with Kerbal Life Support or something like that, you need to make sure that you pack enough life support. That's very, very important. The Moon becomes easier to get to uh, when you're playing a hard mode with uh, life support and, and uh, remote tech and a few other bits and bobs. There we go. Oh, I'm happy with that. 
So we will warp now to here. Because what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of a manoeuvre, okay, to see if we can get a better approach. You can see we're coming in quite polar, okay? So we want to get that correct. And I want to flip it onto the other side of the planet too, I'm thinking. So I'll add a manoeuvre here. Okay, that's an hour away, that gives me tons of time. Okay, so I'm focused on Minmus. I've set my manoeuvre for my course, okay? I'm not actually setting it while I'm in the sphere of influence, I'm setting it as early as I can. And I want to lift this orbit onto the other side of the planet. Go that way. Okay, you can see that we're on the other side now. I'll lift this up. Now, obviously, we're going to be striking it at an angle, okay? Because remember, we're coming from over here, and it's going up. So it's going to look like we're, we're not coming in at an angle. In fact, I reckon that's probably 6.7 degrees or whatever our uh, difference in orbits is. So that's at 235. Okay, we'll just grab this and go like this. Actually, that's the wrong way, I reckon. Yep, it is. Nope. This way. Okay, we'll pull on this gently. Okay, we're a little bit polar again. Oops. I'm pulling that the wrong way. There we go. So about 35,000. Yeah, that's oh, this way. 100,000, that's not quite close enough. As you can see, it's quite touchy. 40,000. Too far. Too far. Oh, too far. Oh, too far. Oh, I could sit here and play around with this forever. <laughs> Let's try this way. You can use the mouse wheel to uh, also change your orbit. Okay, that's a little bit too far. I didn't want to go that far. 61, 56, 40. I want to get to about 40,000. There it is. So I'm happy with that. So for a total sum, okay, of 5.8 meters per second, I'm going to go for, from a really, really shitty polar orbit into something that's going to be really nice and equatorial. So I will walk to the maneuver node. And then we're going to get this uh, encounter. Now, what I want to do is I want to get the encounter, get the mission, and then uh, go back to the space center, get the orbital mission, okay, make orbit, complete the mission, and then I want to get the landing mission, okay, in that order. I want to leave this craft in orbit of Minmus until I've completed all of them. That way I can really maximize my uh, gains there. Uh, we will just fast forward a little bit because I've spent so much time uh, fiddling around with the node I don't want to just delete it out of hand okay there we go a little bit further there we go perfect happy with that so what I will do is walk forward a little bit more now so that's a really nice approach I'm happy with that 35 kilometers that's going to give me nice plenty of room to maneuver do what I need to okay there we go so we got a mission complete 133,000 so we've got two hours until we hit the uh, periapsis there so we'll run into the space center and see if we can pick up the next Minimus mission hopefully they run sequentially and there's not anything else that jumps up okay Often what you have to do is just accept, ah, orbit mission, Mimus, here we go, accept or decline a few. So we've got our next mission here, excellent, that's going to be another 100 grand, oh, so easy. Mimus lander one, let's do it. Oh yes, there she is.
Okay, let's uh, just warp the PE. The PE is close enough. Periapsis is close enough. Uh, we don't have to start the burn before it or anything. We just need to make orbit. Let's have a look at our fuel stats. Okay, there it is. Let's burn. Okay, so we made orbit. Right, there's 100 grand. Actually, what we'll do is we'll just get this orbit down to a nice 35,000 because then we're ready to land uh, when we get the next mission. Uh, we'll just fine tune this, get it right down. Minimus, the highest peaks are about 6 or 7k, so don't go lower than that. I try and keep it above 10. I, I think I, I approach the moon and Minimus with uh, 10,000 meters as my floor. That's the absolute fair minimum lowest I want to go unless I'm planning to land. So we we just made um, Minmus and we've uh, orbited Minmus. So now we need to land on Minmus. Hopefully it's one of the. <gasps> okay. Oh bugger. You know what I didn't do? Attach something scientific to the probe. <laughs> it doesn't even have a uh, a thermometer. No thermometers, no nothing. Which is unfortunate, really. And so I may have to send another probe. <laughs> oh, these things happen. Uh, okay. Yeah, what the next morning? Okay, well, I'm going to send up a uh, another probe to uh, from Mimus or around Mimus? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. I wonder if I just reject a few of these, if something else pops up. Doesn't look like it's going to. Oh, that's a bugger. Alright, well, I'm going to uh, get on with the mission. I'm going to send something up so you don't have to watch me do it, but that's how you uh, you try and maximise it. And if I was smart, what I would have done is something really, really simple, and I'll show you quickly before I go. And it's a little bit silly of me to not do it, but anyway. Remember Slander, 30 parts. Oh, actually, we're on the part limit. Let me fix that. If at any stage you find yourself without the... Um, kind of the limit that you need. Uh, just do a little bit of grinding and to get the unlock. Because right now we've got 255 parts. So we've got that. What we need to do is go to science, get uh, thermometer data, and go with uh, three of them. I think three is nice. It's a good number. Three. Okay. We're going to get there and we're going to move this to here. Right. Uh, then we need a communitron. We probably only need one of them. Okay, so that'll allow us to get it back. So that would be all I'd need to do to actually uh, achieve this mission. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bounce out. I'm going to go do it with this thing. And then uh, I'm going to be back for the next episode of this walkthrough.